Today's free to play quest is going to be Witch's House. There's no level or item requirements. You just have to kill a level 49 monster. So I recommend bringing some armor, some food, but you're also going to need leather gloves and some cheese. To start this quest, you're going to head south from the Taverly Lodestone, just look at the map, and follow the path my mouth is going, and we're going to talk to Harvey. So basically his ball fell into her yard and the witch just put it in her shed. So after we talk to him we're going to run to the front door and search a pot to get her key to enter the house. So search the pot over here, get the key, and enter the house. And when we're inside, just head down the stairs. So this is where you're going to need your leather, leather gloves. The fence is electrical. Search the cupboard right here, and we're going to get a magnet. Now with the magnet, you're going to head back upstairs. Run through the door to the south. And then in the corner here, you're going to see a mouse hole. Use the cheese on the hole, and then use the magnet on the hole. Now you can enter this garden area. So just avoid the witch because if she sees you, you're going to get kicked out of the house. So just buy your time, wait for her to walk past you. And we're going to have to run to the fountain on the other side. So search it, we're going to get the key to that shed, and now we got to run all the way to the east again and open that door. So it's going to be a wave of enemies starting from level 16, then 23, then 37, and level 49. This is where you're going to need your food if you're a lower level, so I'm going to skip ahead just because I forgot food. As long as you have some food, you'll do fine against this part. And with the ball in your inventory, just run back to Harvey. And if you have the ball in your inventory, and the witch sees you, you'll get kicked out of the house without the ball. And you have to do the boss fight all over again. So just be careful doing that. Thank you. 
So for finishing the quest, you're going to get four quest points, two treasure hunter keys, and 6,325 constitution experience. So that's going to boost me to level 26 HP.